Hello everyone, my name is The Fox. Right now we're going to be taking a look at Vanquish on the GVD Win. Short story is it's um, it's playable, but it's not really all that great. One of the tools that I'm using is called GD Saddle Tool, which is kind of like Hialgo Boost. Um, one of the limitations that this has along with Hialgo Boost is it will only work on D3D 9 games, DirectX 9 games. Uh, this is the resolution you can see I'm running at 512 by 288 at 60 hertz. Uh, let's go ahead. I'm gonna go ahead and deactivate it right now. You can see it said deactivated successfully. The only reason I don't like any using Hialgo Boost, um, and I prefer using GD Sato is GD Sato is made by Durante, who made the Dark Souls fix, and he has done some other tools. Um, the Hialgo Boost one is just kind of, I don't know. I just feel like it's kind of sketchy. So I just, even though uh, GD Sato wasn't really made for up sampling, it's made more for down sampling, like having a super high resolution than down sampling to. Uh, 1080p basically overriding what's going on in the resolution so if you pay attention you can see all this is super crisp and clear go ahead and switch over to DirectX uh, sorry X input on the GPD win the game will continue and you'll see the performance drop like crazy so this is running at 720p itself this is not 512 by 288 just yet uh, again it's deactivated you can see that we're at this like right at the beginning, right after the tutorial, but there's a lot of action going on here. So it's actually really, really good to test out the performance of what's going on in this game. You can see right there, we have D3D9. So it is DirectX 9, we're running at 11 frames a second. The GPU is stressed at 100% and the CPU is um, just not doing anything. So basically we're GPU limited right here. And the reason why I go to 512 by, uh, by 288 is that that's more or less the perfect balance. You'll actually see both of these closer to 100% uh, because at that resolution we become more CPU limited than anything. So if we kind of... We can see how like even in slow motion this is ultra slow motion. Ugh. So at 720p, this is completely not playable at all. Just chuck a grenade over here. <laughs> Just, <laughs> whoopsie doodle. Kabloom! Okay, how about when frame rate is good and we can actually aim a little bit better? Alright, screw this. This is not very playable. So let's go to the title screen. And you can see that we're like 40 frames a second. It's whenever you go to like press the menu, um, the frame rate just jumps up like crazy anyway. Let me, and you can see that this is actually still not really super high resolution uh, frame rate. We are running at 720p though right now. So let's go over and switch it back over into mouse mode. We will go down here into the little little icon down here and we'll click activate and GD Sato is activated and now we're gonna see that Vanquish is all of the text and the UI is going to look far more fuzzy again that's because it's actually resolving the the text at us you can see right there it says down sampling now we're not down sampling we are actually up up sampling uh, GD Sato is never actually meant to be used uh, to upsample. I'm just doing it. You can see how blurry this text is. So even though um, GD Sato is meant to have like a super high resolution then down sample to um, 1080p so to speak, you can see already that our frame rate is way higher. The tool can be used to upsample as well so you can specify different resolutions. You can see that this, is, this part is way smoother. Unfortunately even when we're here we're still at like 20 frames per second when all this action is going on. But if you take a look at the GPU and CPU, we're actually far more... We're utilizing the GPU and CPU at much, much better. The thing is, is if I go down any further in resolution, I don't actually improve my frame rate at all. Frame rate improves maybe like one frame. It's not really worth it because none of the text is readable the further uh, down in resolution that I go. So this is more or less the best resolution I can find it as, a, as like a happy medium. Um, having said that, it's um, still really not not that good.
<laughs> just knee sliding. So yeah, unfortunately, when there's a bunch of action going on, um, it's just not that great. I'm overheated from the... Where is the dude firing at? Someone far behind? Some dude over there. Let's see if we can peg him from over here. There he goes. There's that. And the other guy. see anyone else again uh, the video is uh, recording at 60 frames a second so you are going to see a much better um, what's the word I want to look for it's gonna at least the frame rate that I'm recording at is going to be more representative of how this game looks when you're playing it and yeah the frame rate does go up to like 30 frames a second when it's not so busy um, you can see yeah so it's like we're up to 30 frames right now and at 30 frames, it's it's kind of playable. It's not too bad. But, um... I find it to be just barely playable when there's heavy action scenes. There's some stuff going on, and... Truthfully, the resolution that we're running at isn't too bad. Uh, but this feels like, again... I mean, this is obviously way better than Bayonetta, so it is playable, in a sense. Um, but I don't know. I'm not really too stoked about it. I think I was going to play this on my PC and not play this here. It was just not super good. Anyway, that's Vanquish. Thanks for watching.